Hi everyone, hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to do a video showing you my MAC lipstick collections. Hope you enjoy. I thought I would start by saying that I, I rarely even wear lipstick. I do have some lipstick on now, um, which I'll talk to you about in a minute, but I do rarely wear lipstick, so I don't have that many. Um, the most MAC lipsticks of any brand. I do also like Chanel, I've got a Chanel lipstick that I love and I also have a YSL which is one of my favourites but um, they're just one off so I don't have a collection of lipsticks from the same brand as I do with MAC so I thought I would share with you some lipsticks and maybe if you have similar colouring to me um, then you may want to check them out I love to see different lipsticks on people because I love to wear a lip look if I'm going out um, and as it's near Christmas festive season when you might be going to a lot of parties we've also got you know Halloween Thanksgiving in the States stuff like that you may want to rock a lip look which I only ever do when it's a special occasion so I hope you enjoy my collection I'm gonna try and go in color so I have two nudes from Mac and this first one I've got is the um, Sheen Supreme lipstick, which looks a bit different to the regular. This is the Sheen Supreme, and this is the regular MAC um, lipstick bullet. So this is the Sheen Supreme, and it is in the colour Supremely Confident, and it's my most nudist shade. As you can see, it's super light, and I don't know how good this lighting is going to be, but I will take pictures. It's very much your cool concealer type shade of lipstick but this formulation the Sheen Supreme is so sheer and hydrating that it's a great one to use just as a base I have quite highly pigmented lips so it's a great one to pop on before um, adding another on top or it's a great base for a lipstick to stick to um, or if you want to lighten something, it's really nice and sheer. I mean, I can swatch it on the back of my hand, but I honestly don't know how much you'll pick up. It's just there. And it's a really high gloss sheer finish. I don't know if you'll see the light reflecting off it there, um, but it's a lovely lipstick. And I did get this in a CCO, so I'm not sure whether you can even get it anymore, but it's really lovely. So if you can get your hands on it, um, or try something similar. If you speak to my Mac artist, I would recommend it. Now this is my beloved creme de nude. It's a cream sheen formula and I was coming to the end of the bullet and instead of wasting it all, you know when you get to see this one, this is uh, one that I'm going to get near to the end, but under this seal here there is a lot of lipstick in this part and so what I did was I used a wooden spatula and then disposed of it obviously and dug out all of the lipstick and that is actually quite a lot um, and I've just put it in a cream colour base old container but that is my creme de nude and that is lovely it's a bit warmer, more pinkier if you can see here the supremely, what's that called again? the supremely confident and the creme de nude, it's a lot darker and a lot pinker um, so you may find it more flattering and more wearable um, and this is a great, you can see all the sheen on that also and that I think is a classic nude from MAC and I know a lot of people do own it and really enjoy it um, I've got two brown toned lipsticks from MAC MAC, sorry um, one is called Patisserie and it's a luster and I think I may wear this um, on my wedding day because I don't really like pink pink lips and I don't want anything too glossy for photos so um, and this is such an easy one again I got this from a CCO so I'm unsure if they have discontinued it I'm so sorry because and I'm actually not going to use it that much until I get married because I would definitely want to have it that's the swatch there for creme de nude and then next to it um, I've just done the patisserie and I'd say that the luster um, MAC lipsticks are my absolute favourite type um, but this is such a wearable lipstick and really I would go online and um, 
look on eBay and stuff like that to see if you can get hold of it because it's absolutely gorgeous and I would definitely not want to be out without it in my collection like if I had to repurchase any so far it would 100% be the creme de nude and the max patisserie because they are just gorgeous up I got this off the recommendation of Michelle 1218 and also Barbara from the Persian Babe and this is a matte shade and this is called Taupe and I've worn it before in videos and I'm wearing it now on my lips uh, I have it on now with no lip liner just straight from the bullet onto my lip I'll do a swatch of my hand also there we go but you can see how much darker it is compared to my others and also how it does not reflect the light at all it's very matte um, so this one I'd say is a little less wearable, I do have lip balm on underneath because the matte lipsticks can be um, slightly more drying but um, I do really like it, as I say I'm not one for super pink, um, you know fuchsia blue undertone type colours um, but I like this one, it's a really easy brown and I love to wear it with what I have on today which is just like some brown eyeliner on my waterline and smudged above my lashes and this lipstick. Um, I like to wear a lot of neutrals as you can see and so I like neutral and khaki and stuff like that come into the autumn winter I think it's a really nice shade to wear um, with some of those looks. Two corals. Um, the first one is a permanent so I'll show you that one and it is in a frost finish and it is called Costa Chic and what you're seeing on the camera is is totally not doing it justice it is the brightest coral as you can see here and it sort of gives you like a neon lip it looks absolutely amazing if you have a tan um, I love to wear it on holiday with just this and mascara and a bit bronzer and it's just absolutely stunning. It is a frost so it's it's matte but it has a bit more dimension to it. That's the only way I can describe it. If you would look at it against the uh, Max Taupe which is next to it, it's not as flat, it has much more dimension. So I love that. And then this is uh, this is from a limited edition line and my auntie actually got it for me um, from Canada and sent it over because I could not get it over here. Um, I can't remember what collection it was from. If I do remember I'll put it in the description box below or on my blog. Um, but it is called Jazzed and again the camera's not picking it up very well. I will swatch it for you though. And it's just more of a peachy, has more orange undertones than the uh, oh god what's that called? Then the Costa Chic if you can see here it's definitely more peachy and it's, it's a cream sheen also it's a more hydrating formula but this is when you can wear it when you get home and your tan's starting to fade and you still want to be on the beach bronzed having cocktails uh, and it's a lot more wearable than the frost because you can just literally swipe it on with bronzer and mascara again, maybe some bold brows and uh, it'll take you right back to the beach. Two, um, actually I'll show you this one. I've got two from the uh, Viva Glam collections and as you can see the Viva Glam collections have the um, pinky red line around the bullet of the lipstick and I'll show you the pink one first which is the Viva Glam Gaga. This is the original Viva Glam Gaga. So it's the pink, and uh, as I said, I'm, I'm not really a big fan of pinks. So this is the only pink I have. Um, I'd say it is a bluey undertoned pink, and I love the fact that it has her signature around the bullet. And I think that's just a great little detail. Um, but this is a luster, so it's a great um, hydrating finish. I really like the lusters. And it's much more of a baby pink compared to any of the other ones I have. So it's there, just on the end there. And I love to wear this pink actually with grey. Grey, like charcoal grey clothing, or I have Max Eye Coal in phone number, which is a really deep grey. 
and I don't know why, I just love grey with um, this pink lipstick. I think they really complement each other nicely. And um, ultimately, this is also Viva Glam, and this is Cindy, and this is a really wearable red. This is also in a luster finish, again, so it's super hydrating and lovely. And I love to wear this with black eyeliner. This is so suitable, you can definitely wear this in the day. Um, because of the finish, I think, and it's got much more of a berry undertone because you can see compared to the MAC taupe, which is really brown toned, and then this one on the end here, Cindy, which is um, a lot more berry toned. And I haven't worn that in a long time actually, but I definitely will. Now it's getting a bit more fall winter like, autumn winter like, and finally, this is my bright red not bright, but this is my true red and it's a deep red and this is an amplified and this is called red she said so I can see it's a lot more vampy than the Max Cindy this would look see it's a lot more brighter more of a cranberry red I would say and uh, again, it's a nice amplified finish. I love the, uh, <laughs> as you can tell by my hand and the sheen on it, I'd love the more hydrating lipsticks. But that would look great with like cat eyeliner and a little um, LBD, a little black dress. I think that would look amazing on a night out with some fluttery lashes. That would look gorgeous. Um, so that is the end of my MAC collection video. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've only got nine. So, if you want to get my 9 to a 10, leave a comment below as to what lipstick you think I would like. I will take a picture of all the swatches on the back of my hand and I will put it on my blog, uh, which is elizabethcamillefisher.blogspot.co.uk. I will leave the link below. You can also find me on Twitter and Instagram, um, which is the username lizfish1. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and leave recommendations in the comments. I'll see you soon. Bye.